say? They expect you to just say congratulations to two women having a baby. Like, where is the reality of the world? They didn't just have a baby. What happened where one of them got pregnant? Superville here. In today's video, we got Corey Holcomb sharing his thoughts on Brittany Griner announcement about her wife's pregnancy. In WNBA and NCAA news, congratulations to Brittany Griner and her wife, Sherelle. They are expecting, they announced on IG this past Saturday that they are expecting their first child. I don't understand that. What she bought some balls? Now? How did it, what you mean? She said, or they said, I can't believe that we're less than three months away from meeting our favorite human being. Now, Brittany is also very excited because Who she Who is that? Where? Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, that's the, uh, that's the bitch that looked like uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in ninth grade. I sent you a picture, Niall. Anyway, Brittany, is, Brittany right. is also very excited that she'll be playing in the 2024 Paris Olympics, which start in July. That will also mark her first return to international sports since her 10-month detainment in Russia two years ago. Yeah. So see, so she's excited. I sent the picture so you can see who we're talking about. You know who it is. Anyway, her and her wife, they are expecting... And they Corey kills him and he says he doesn't know how. Yeah. But they didn't get, they didn't give the. Well, like, why do we congratulate that? I don't yeah. understand it. It's yeah. all a fairy tale. Okay, well, that's their fairy tale, but they're 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 a, a couple and they exist. They're human. I'm just like, congratulations. They're, yeah, Where's the daddy? I want right. The donor, I know he's like, nah, that's sexy. There's a ma there's 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 a um, male and female couples that get. Did she get smacked out to get pregnant or did she buy the sperm? They didn't say. They expect you to just say congratulations to two women having a baby. Like, where is the reality of the world? They didn't just have a baby. What happened where one of them got pregnant? That's they, what we want to know. They'll probably speak on it. They probably, they'll probably speak on it. But Brittany Griner tripping. She should have had the baby. She oh, there's got the, the sonogram. Yeah. And that's, she got that's the, the height. The, and that's all the it. wife's stomach right there. That's the sonogram. She fake smiling. She know that ain't her baby. <laughs> now that was gosh darn it, Craig. It's like the, the world wants you to just accept oh, and be Lord. happy for two women pretending like they had a baby together. Here's when women are hypocrites. Where's the dude? That's what I'm saying. Oh, where's the donor? If that was a nigga and it wasn't his baby on the way, they wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> what you mean? That's the hypocrisy of male and female interaction. Since it's a woman, it's okay that she's pregnant by somebody else. But if that was a nigga, uh, you know what I mean? It'd be a problem. This is a crazy, crazy world we live in, man. Yeah. Darlene just said, congratulations to yeah. them. Fuck them. Yeah. How the fuck do you not tell the whole story and expect respect? Yeah. What's the whole story? Do you have a, you having a fatherless Where baby? Where the fuck the baby come from? We can only speculate because we know that they're uh, a lesbian couple. Right, so you can't say to me, they should be, where's the dude that they can thank for donating the sperm or whatever? He man? got paid, uh, who knows, months ago when he gave his sample. I don't know. He but probably why did, sample. He probably smashed. Why does lesbianism be some people do it that way too. have to exclude fathers? That's what I'm saying. That don't make no sense. Okay, y'all chose to be together as women. We get it. But why does that exclude the baby knowing his father? Brittany is not a man because she could dunk and she's tall. She's still a bitch. So the father should be included. No, you, I'm not playing them. It's just that what else can I do? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to change anything. Even if I knew exactly how she got impregnated or pregnant. And right. OK. And. Cause it's when just the, too much of my energy to try and even understand any of that stuff, but okay, I just two I people, just, two women. I some just, stories, yeah. I'm old school. Some stories are still stupid to me. Sure. You can't tell me about, hey, these two women are having a baby, congratulations. Well, where's the story? Where's the backstory on that? <laughs> this bitch was in jail. <laughs> Cause she was had, she was in the airport in Russia. Yeah. The Black Lives Matter shirt on. Yeah. Knowing them people don't play that shit out there. Right. Vaping. Yeah. Everywhere you go in Russia, they follow you. Yeah. Yeah. And now you want me to thank you or congratulate you 
For this mystery baby up in the bitch who look like she's still getting dick up in her. It's not fair to the baby that you deprive it of a father because you're in love with a woman. Mm. So you're saying, I can't have a daddy because you like to get your pussy ate. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> I can't know I, my daddy because y'all I like it's interesting, to but I don't know. I can't bump pussy. I'm about to be brought up by two bitches. <laughs> it's just interesting. <laughs> Why does lesbianism have to exclude fatherhood? It doesn't make it. It doesn't make any sense. You mm. you absolutely right. Greg. The baby this should be able crazy, to crazy man. It's like don't tell me sucker shit. I can't <laughs> I can't not react to sucker shit. This lady has got to be the biggest nightmare of basketball. The story of Brittany Griner. Yeah. It's got to be the biggest nightmare of basketball. Oh, we didn't even talk about all the other stuff that happened. Oh, though. my goodness. That's, that's real shit. She had to pay child support on some baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember she was whooping her other, she was whooping her other bra. She I was with a that. woman before and was beating the dog shit out the bitch. Back in 2015, Basketball star Brittany Griner and her fiance, Glory Johnson, who was also a basketball player in the WNBA, were arrested on suspicion of assault and disorderly conduct related to domestic violence. Uh, and left I her. Remember that. We covered she, that remember, what? Brittany Griner is a deadbeat mom dad. She had another <laughs> bitch had a baby for her a couple years ago and she left the bitch, remember? Look it up. She's a deadbeat mom dad. She had another woman have a baby for her and she left that woman. This is facts. Ain't no way in the world uh, I'm going to okay. congratulate. I wouldn't give a fuck if it's my son or daughter. If my son was marrying somebody else that was a dude, I, I wouldn't be at the wedding. I'll be like, nigga, you lost your motherfucking mind. I need a DNA test. I don't know. I really need to know if you my son. Yeah. Holcombs, it don't be that. It don't be no motherfucking niggas, fucking niggas in the Holcomb clan. Yeah, anyway, okay. Now my mama's side is weirdo. Oh, it's stop. weirdo. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> my mama's side of the family is some weirdo. Oh lord. I'm not joking. I wouldn't say that. My yeah. my aunt shit. <laughs> but the Holcomb side, I mean, it's weirdos. But I don't, I ain't never seen no dykes, oh. and I ain't never seen no backdoria dudes yeah. in the Holcomb family. Yeah. On the Holcomb side. No, Southern gentlemen. My yeah, me either. We got a we got a, a stud or two. You got a stud on what side? What what side? I got a stud on my dad's side, but no gay dudes on either side. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's great. That I know of. Yeah. That you know, Phil, yeah, exactly. <laughs>